Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. There we are. Hello, everybody. Hey, welcome. It's Wednesday. We're live once again. Are yes, we? Yes, we are. We are. Yes, we are. Live. Guess what, guess what we do every single day is look at homes and prices, and we work in real estate. We love real estate. So, our top story today is why is real estate your best investment? <music> Yes. <laughs> this is what we do it is. all day long. <laughs> Can you live in your stock portfolio? Uh, I guess if it gets big enough, you can use it, to, or if the stocks go down low enough, you can use it for wallpaper. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's the possibility. Anything's possible. So let's just, in no particular order, would you say? I mean, okay. they're just all excellent ways to invest your money these days. Let's start off with natural appreciation. Okay, historically, the real estate market has returned 3%. So don't buy it today and look at for 3% tomorrow. Let's look at historic numbers through the years. You don't wait to buy real estate, you buy real estate and wait. That's it. One of my favorite quotes of his. <laughs> Uh, and in the last year, though, the year-to-date numbers for January through June, uh, our actual year-to-date appreciation is 20% on sold properties. 21.52%. Average sold price in Ventura County right now, $910,000. So you got a lot more than 3% on the last, on this most recent numbers. 21.52, over 21.5%. Yep. 21 now, we don't get that kind of appreciation <laughs> every year, and for that kind of appreciation to happen historically over 3%, then you're going to have some years not so much, but what a great year last year's been with the lockdowns and everything that's going on. Can you believe it? 21.5% in 12 months? So people are going to be hoping for a pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, no. Probably not. No. But no, that's no, what no, it no, did no, to no. the to the numbers now. But over the average course, normally the average would be three percent. Correct. I think if you're thinking, hey, I'm gonna buy this house for three hundred thousand and three percent over twenty years, that's reasonably what you could expect from a property you own or live in or rent out. That's seems fair. Yes. Yes. So the next one is forced appreciation. So, you know, when you make your payment uh, every month, it's forced savings, but it's also forced appreciation because your amount you owe goes down each month when you make a payment. So that means your equity is going up. So each month you are uh, getting forced appreciation in your home. And you can also force yourself to do improvements around your house. That's all, always going to appreciate your property, painting the interior, exterior, New hardscape, new landscape. Is there anything else you can think that would... Uh, new kitchen, new flooring, new bathrooms. All those things improve your, your equity in the property. Yep, new roof. Yep. I mean, my yep. gosh, I think the list is almost endless. Appliances, mm -hmm. it just keeps going and going and going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there is no limit. Another thing you, that why real estate is a, the best investment is it reduces your taxes. So the mortgage interest deduction reduces your taxes, and if you're using real estate... For investment property, if you have rentals, then you get into depreciation and property taxes and the other ways that uh, real estate can be written off your taxes. Yeah, now you'll want to be sure to check with your tax professionals. We're not giving you tax advice or legal advice. However, everybody pretty much knows that you have an interest mortgage deduction. So the interest you're paying on your mortgage is usually tax deductible. Once again, check with your tax professionals. Mm -hmm. We're not giving you tax advice, but we're telling you there are tax advantages to buying a house, making the payments, make them on time. And a lot of times now states and cities have ways that they can lower your payment where they'll help with down payment assistance. There's a lot of ways to buy real estate because people are saying, hey, it's getting so pricey. There's no way that it's priced me out of the market. Well, guess what? With a little research, you can find out that there are opportunity programs, especially in the great state of California. 
that's reducing taxes. Then leverage. Another great way why real estate's a great investment is leverage. That you're using somebody else's money to buy the property. So you put 10 or 20 or 25% down on investment property and you're the, the bulk of the money, the rest of it is coming from the bank. So you can use leverage to stretch out your, your money to fix it. You can flip it. You can rent it. So there's all kinds of things to do with the property. There are, and that's how a lot of people get started in real estate. Let's just use some round numbers. We'll take, you know, a first-time buyer or somebody that's buying a property as an investment. Let's say market value on the property or below market value on the property is hundred thousand dollars, and let's say through circumstances that you're able to buy the property for eighty thousand dollars. Now you put down your investment or your down payment, and that depends on whether you're going to be owner-occupied or it's going to be uh, investment real estate. So that's that's a sliding scale depending on how you're going to do it. So whatever that amount is, you buy the property for eighty thousand. Now let's say you do the things we were talking about. You paint, you put in some appliances, you do some landscaping and some hardscaping, and the house looks totally different. Now let's say the current market value on your house is $130,000. So what you do is you go refinance the house, right? Minus whatever, if it's 5% for an owner-occupied or more, 20% standard loan, 25 to 30% as an investor, you take your money back out, and now you've got a tenant in there, you've got your money back out of the property, and you take that money and go buy another property. I would say many, many people that are successful in real estate, that's how they get started. Yep, that's right. So buying one, under market, fixing it up, going back, refinancing it. Yes, they're a little tough to find in this market right now, because under market, it's crazy out there right now. They are available, you know. It's very difficult to find, like Lisa said. However, with enough hard work and enough enthusiasm, it's it is available. <laughs> Everything's available. Anything's possible. Anything's possible. Anything's possible. So let's don't just say, "Oh no, if the market's gone up so much that won't happen." Now it's very, very, extremely difficult. Okay, I get that, <laughs> but it can happen. Find them for you off market. Yes. Yeah, so, hey, you mean I got a chance? <laughs> yeah, you got a chance. One in a billion, but you got a chance. That's right. <laughs> His glass is always half full. So another thing, it's a retirement plan and a passive income for life. When you have your rental properties and you buy them early, get them paid off, you have that income that is steady and reliable uh, every month coming in from your tenants. Yes, you gotta get the right tenants and you gotta put them in the right property, right property, right tenants, right rent. It's all gonna come together. And another thing that that could happen as far as retirement income, let's say during your lifetime you buy three or four properties, right? And you transfer those to your kids and your kids do the same thing that you did. They buy three or four properties. By the time it comes to your grandkids, they're going to have a full-time job just managing the family real estate portfolio. Yes, that's assuming they can afford the taxes with all the new taxes as they come up every time they turn over. But it is possible. You just need a couple more pro more properties in the portfolio to pay the property taxes. That's it. Well, and usually as property taxes go up, rents go up with them. So it's not isolated. I mean, it would be like, uh, you know, taxes went up, Home Depot's not going to start charging less for a Black & Decker drill. They're just going to add it to the price of the drill. That's right. Well, that's like for savings and a hedge against inflation is rental property because, like you just said, your rents go up um, as inflation goes up. So that's a good hedge against inflation too. And another reason to buy because once you have a fixed rate mortgage, then your payment is going to stay consistent, your principal and interest payment. Now your taxes could go up, your insurance could go up, your utility bills could go up, but basically your fixed expenses are going to be fixed. Right. That's why interest <laughs> rates are so low. I've seen some um, rate sheets now that have adjustable rate more, more uh, mortgage rates on the rate sheets, which I haven't seen in years, and I'm surprised that they're even on there, because why would you get an adjust, adjustable rate mortgage right now in this market environment? where rates are still record low for fixed rates. 
That's right. You definitely want to get a fixed rate. So we don't see rates going any lower than they are right now. It's almost what we think is physically impossible. So if they're as low as they could possibly go, you would fix it here because rates could basically only go up from here. That's right. I mean, we're looking at between three, three and a half, four percent for a fixed rate mortgage. I mean, well, we're spoiled now because yes, they've we, been that low for so long <laughs> that I think you know people's expectations are because as soon as those rates go up a little bit, your buying power goes down more dramatically than the cost of of the home. The interest rate affects that monthly payment more than that. So it's important. It is important that you know what you're doing, get into it with professionals like Lisa and I. We do this every single day. We're doing yep. it right now. Yep. I shot a new listing today. That's always a fun day. I love going to shoot the photography on new lit listings, so stay tuned. We have a gorgeous one coming. Oh, yeah. And when you need our services, please, GaryandLisa.com. Your real estate edge. Thanks, guys.